All right, hey gang, welcome back to Verb Suits Laboratory. This is the launch of Prater. Yeah, we're on the way to the pad. I'm excited and terrified, so see you when I get there because I'm exhausted. Thanks. Oh, that's the top to mine. Wonder who printed that? Me. All right, out at our way pads, we've got an L3 cert attempt from Jonathan Boyson. He's from Harrisonville, Missouri. Missouri. Oh, not North Carolina. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a custom-built rocket he calls Prater, 37 pounds, 7 ounces, on an M1315. You named your rocket Crater? Prater? Prater. Okay. Crater would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, clear sky, clear range, everybody's watching in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Make Smoke, one. fire. <laughs> Nice and straight. He's feeling good. Oh boy. Now he's getting nervous. He's wondering how he did, well he did packing his parachute today. That's always a question. I'll coast for a little bit. Did I put shear pins or metal screws? <laughs> uh, okay. We've got we've got it set it's open. All right, gang. So, Prater ascent, beautiful. Pretty sure it came down under a chute. Uh, it's on the ground, so we're going after it. Um, it went down way out of sight, so we'll see what we find. All right, guys. Um, I'm missing my wind muff, but no big deal. Sorry for the sound if it's not great. So, we did recover Prater on our launch. That wasn't a pretty sound. Um, I did not pass the cert. Reason being, uh, zipper A is more than half my body diameter. Uh, zipper B, C, and uh, D, I think this one's a little bit of a zipper, but not quite, are also longer than half. This one's almost a foot long here. Uh, it looks like my shot cord decided to cut down the inside. It did quite a number on the inside too there so quite a bit of repair work to get this back up and running um, also this parachute did not come out of the deploy bag so 100% before future flights I'm ditching that deploy bag and we're just going to go with a Nomex chute protector um, it did not come out it's come out on every other flight I've ever used this thing on so don't know why that didn't work frustrated as all heck but I'm just ditching it because there's no point I know it had enough force to get it out because uh it punched my bulkhead loose, which you can kind of see down in there. There's a weird red gap. That red gap is the inside of my nose cone. Uh, that's not supposed to exist. So, in, in result, my tip of my nose is now loose, so I'm going to have to fix that too. But, I'm going to have to do some repairs on it and rework how I want to fly some of it. I'm thinking about coming up with something to help stop the zippers on these so that we don't have this issue moving forward. But that's really where uh, the flight's at right now. So, oh my goodness, that is a dirty lens. Whew. Um, but that's really where we're at. It's not huge. I'm a little upset that we didn't get the cert today, but we'll rework it and refly. So I'm, I'm aiming for probably October, November at this point to try and fly again, but we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching, gang. I'll see you all in the next video.